whole thing is tilted towards the front. Today's project is uncovering an old barn that fell down. So up by the pond there is a barn structure. I'm not sure how big it is, but it's pretty much all fallen down. So um, there's a little bit of the roof is still up. Eh, probably three quarters of the roof is still up. And then it doesn't look like there's much of the wall. So I got to clear around it so I can get to it. And then from there, I'm going to start trying to save the lumber, any lumber that I can. Maybe we'll put it in a house or something. If there's any big beams, we might use it for a mantle. Um, but just kind of clean it out, get it cleared so we can grow some grass over there. And we may leave some of the trees around it. But once we get it uncovered, we can go from there and find out. Okay, so here I am at the pond. If we flip around here, I did mow this little trail a while ago, but it's overgrown. You can kind of see the structure there. Into here, it has fallen down. So, I'll do a couple passes around with the mower. I may or may not save some of these trees because it's kind of close. That taller tree right here is the property line. So if we can keep some of these trees by this barn. It'll kind of shade it a little bit, the property, hide the property because there's some smaller trees around. So we'll get going with the mower around here and see how it looks. entrance to the barn probably not too safe to walk in there so I don't know how far I'm gonna go looks like the part of the back wall right there maybe Ends there. I'm guessing it was some kind of cattle barn or or something. So we'll keep working and see. It's definitely going to be a full teardown. I don't know how many boards we'll be able to save, but 
get it cleaned up and get it out of here so we can start growing pasture. sure what these grasses are or weeds are but these things gotta be 10 feet tall they're as tall as the corner of the building they're all over up here Man, these things are crazy thick through here. May have to come through the backside. Try to go around if I can. Check these out. The stalks on those things are absurd. I'm not too far away. You can see the property line there. And there's the barn. But may try to go around. So we cleared up to it. It's definitely leaning. The whole thing is tilted towards the front. I think it had a concrete floor at one time. The roof is completely caved in and rotted but a couple of these 4x4 four four posts and some of the posts in the middle might be able to save for something so just have to get a plan of attack on how I'm gonna how I'm gonna go about tearing this down without ruining a little bit of good wood that is left.
I finished clearing the barn that I could today. Uh, I got all the way around the barn. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut down some trees, and but I'm gonna wait till I get some help for that. So I'm gonna continue on through here, the pond area. Uh, I'm gonna try to try to do this pond dam. See how much I can get. The angle's pretty crazy. The camera doesn't show it, so uh, but it's pretty steep. So I'm gonna see how far I can get with a mower. I got the weed whacker and the chainsaw work on cleaning some of these trees out and just continuing to clear around um, see how far we can get be nice if I can get all the way around it but uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen so we shall see Well, that's kind of what I was afraid of, that this drops off here and the motor is stuck. So I'm wondering if this is not the spillway for the pond. Kind of dips down there. If it gets too high, it goes this way. Um, I'm not too sure. So I guess I have to Leave the Jeep, and, or leave the mower until I can get the Jeep out here. Have Tina come help me and get this thing unstuck.
do, but I don't want you to pull it. I want to drive it out. You can back explode. Definitely drops off a little bit there. Well, this is all I was able to get cleared for now. Uh, I'm gonna need some help uh, holding ladders and cutting trees down and making sure the barn doesn't tip over. So my brother's coming down in a couple weeks. So he doesn't know this, but I'm gonna put him to work. He can help me tear down the rest of that barn. I'm sure he'll find out once he watches this video. So David, thanks ahead of time. <laughs>